my life, I have to take myself out of the equation in order to facilitate something for the brand that I'm either producing or directing for. And uh, that can be a tough thing at times if I'm a bit more connected to, to the project. And it's something that speaks to me. You know, when the project doesn't necessarily speak to me as much, I, I, I give whatever the, my boss would like. Um, can you speak a little bit about it in your world? In your, because quite a few writers are going to be um, watching this who uh, write for the love of writing right now and would love to write uh, for commerce. Well, the thing is, the love of writing is what creates the commerce. You can never, you never, you, it's never that you get rid of it. It's that you have to, you know, I have to have word quotas. I have to know, I have to know how many words I'm going to write a day, how many words I'm going to write a week. So if I have a word a day like today where I've written, you know, 283 words and I actually need 3000, I have to make it up somewhere I'm going to. So, but I have to take the panic and the fear out of it. It has to get done. Right. So I, so it all has to be, and that all sounds like the enemy of creativity, but it's really not. But the love of writing, you, I have to be able to, I have to love the book. I have to love the characters. I have to, I have to tell myself the story first. And I think that, so there's writing a book and then there's publishing. And those are completely different things that almost, almost have nothing to do with each other because the business of publishing is, is, can be disheartening and can be upsetting and can be wonderful and can, it can be all these different things that have nothing to do with me, but have to do with the market and have to do with editorial choices or, you know, marketing boards at publishers. So nothing I can do about that. The only thing I have is the love of writing. And that can, that can seem hard to get a handle on sometimes. Um, particularly when, you know, you have a crushing deadline and you're like, I don't even know why I'm writing this. I hate this story. And I think those are the times where you have to sort of reach inside yourself hopefully with all this work you've been doing to connect, right? To reach inside yourself and find a way to just tell the story. I often kind of tell myself that when I'm having a tough time getting through, you know, for me, it's usually the right at the end of the book. Like, how am I going to finish this book? It's like, just tell the story. I tell myself that a lot because it's easy to get so overwhelmed, but you, you know, it's, what is that? Um, Anne Lamott book, Bird by Bird. It's always been great advice. It's still great advice. At the end of the day, you just have to sort of say, how do you get from A to B and tell the story? And I think, People think, well, that doesn't feel artistic, but my experience is that art doesn't feel like art. The product is art. What it feels like is, do I love this sentence? Have I gotten to the end of this scene? Are these characters relating to each other? You know, do I feel, I'm not, I, I rarely cry over my work, but if I feel kind of, I'm feeling something at the end, you know, yay, that worked. You know, I, for me, you know, thinking about it as art comes later after the creative process. Mm -hmm.